In my AP psychology class, we had a photo of this man above the doorframe that we would slap on our way to the AP exam for good luck. His name is V.S. Ramachandran and he's a sorcerer, I mean neuroscientist. That was a joke, neuroscience and psychology are sciences. The majority of people who lose a limb experience phantom pain. There's a theory that there's a map of our bodies on our brain. Ramachandran proposed that the part of the brain that corresponds with the amputated limb would be starved of sensory inputs, search for them elsewhere, and start to merge with the section next to it. In order to test this, he touched the face of a patient with an amputated arm. Sure enough, the patient felt the touch not only only on his face, but also on his phantom hand. Ramachandran used this finding and created the mirror box, which using mirrors produces a visual effect of both limbs being present. One patient felt that his phantom hand was painfully clenched into a fist, constantly. Using the mirror box, Ramachandran asked the patient to look into the reflection and move both limbs simultaneously. It worked and he felt his phantom fist relax and his pain go away almost immediately. Essentially, the brain is tricked into seeing that the hand isn't clenched and no longer needs to send pain signals.